Hey buddies and buddies, and welcome back to the channel. Today will be the last of the India series trilogy, kind of making this the grand finale of sorts. However, it's also going to be the most interesting video that I'll be making about my India series, in my opinion, because we'll be having a look at exactly how different the industry is there on a whole compared to how it is in Australia. Comparing the different fish that are actually allowed to be kept over there, and also the differences in laws, also the availability, the equipment, and going through a pretty deep rundown about all of these differences and seeing what level and how grateful we are almost in Australia compared to the level that is, is in India. So I really hope you're going to enjoy this video and before we get into it, as always, let's acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land and the amazing people who are currently managing our land as well. But without further ado, let's get started and have a look at this deep dive of the aquarium industry in a different part of the world. industry in a completely different part of the world, it made me realise just how grateful I am for the aquarium industry here in Australia. I definitely wouldn't be able to keep the aquariums and the fish that I'm keeping now without the quality and equipment, the experience at our local aquarium stores and online resources, along with the abundance of information that we have readily available to us. To go in a little bit more detail about that, the aquariums that we have, we can keep with really high quality equipment to ensure that the life support systems are going to last for a very long time, to make sure that we have long-term success with our aquariums, and we don't need to worry about constantly replacing parts or results in uh, parts failing or fish dying as a result of that, which just it makes things a lot more peace of mind when it comes to keeping things like fish, which requires such pristine environments. Along with that, the experience that we have with our local aquarium hobbyists and also our local aquarium stores is great as well because we can go there to get our water tests completed, find quality information, which brings me to my next point is just the abundance of information that we have. If we need to find a care guide about a fish, if we need to know uh, how to mix salt water, how to set up an RODI unit, how to keep plants, all of these things are amazing because we have that information so readily available to us through our aquarium hobbyists, through online websites, through YouTube, through forums, through Facebook. However, these are all things which are almost non-existent in India and other parts of the world. And the reason for this huge divide is because the opposite of all of these factors that I listed here that we have in Australia. They definitely don't have quality and equipment, which is something that I did see. It's very difficult to find quality equipment like Fluval, uh, like Seacam, if we want to try and find any proper good quality internal, external filters, sunts, quality built tanks, and things like a uh, proper aquarium lighting is, again, non-existent there because of the fact of how different the aquarium industry is viewed. It's definitely not as popular as we see in the United States or in Australia. And for those people that do want to keep fish, it's usually more so because of a belief system that fish usually bring good luck into a home or just for the sake of having a pet. But we all go through that phase where we don't really have that much research when we first keep a fish. We're in that mindset of, okay, fish can just live in water. We don't need good equipment. It'll just be fine until the fish dies. However, there, what I've noticed is there is more of a mentality to replace the dead fish than really find out what the error is. And this just goes down to the fact that there is very little quality information there, but also the fact that things like socioeconomic status comes into play, also lack of good quality water comes into place. And because of that, keeping aquariums and constantly replacing fish, constantly replacing parts, because of the lack of quality equipment and information there, just drives people out of the aquarium hobby then really make them ponder how they can do it better. The only aquarium store that I found that really nailed aquarium keeping on the head was Chennai Aquarium. All the other aquarium stores that I went to, and believe me, I went to about eight, I just didn't really see worth my time filming and uploading to YouTube as a store tour, which is why I've compiled all of that footage in this video. However, one of the biggest differences that I did see when it comes to the aquarium hobby is the availability of fish that they have there. Because it's so close to places like Thailand and Indonesia, where they are mass producing and breeding these fish, they have such an abundant quality of variety as well. We can't even dream of keeping fish like red belly piranha, alligator gar, 
ready slider turtles, which aren't a fish, but you know, you get the picture. They have very, very readily available and accessibility to all of these fish, which is very interesting to see. But again, though you have the access, keeping those fish is very, very difficult. And it's just something that I wanted to convey my thoughts on and uh, just sort of realize what the difference is. But that's essentially it for this video. I'd love to continue this either in a live stream or just in the comment section down below. But that's it for me in today's video. I can't wait to get back into our normal schedule where we have a look at all the fish in the fish room because there are a lot of big changes. But that's it for me. So as always, stay happy, stay safe, stay Aussie Australian. Bodgy out.